Hi, I'm Mary. And I'm Kelly. And we're here today to talk about <clears throat> weekend projects uh, that you can do to spruce up the outside of your house. Whether you're getting ready to sell or just create some appreciation. Yes, because eventually you may sell. And like I've said, if people see that nice house, they might put that on their list and say, I'm watching that house. And when it's ready to sell, I'm a buyer. <laughs> so anyways, let's get to where we think some first impression is the most important outside. So I think <coughs> to it's grab that person, yeah, you have to be ready with the outside of the house. If they don't like the outside, they've always told me that when I was learning how to get into real estate. If they don't like the outside of the house, they're never going to get in to see the inside picture. So who cares? They're never going to look. Exactly. Right. <coughs> so we got a couple tips to help the outside. <coughs> and like you're saying, easy DIY tips that they can do themselves. Pretty inexpensive, right? Yes. Yes. I don't think any of these are uh, expensive at all. Most of it is elbow grease. Exactly. Right. <clears throat> yeah, so first of all, clean it. Neat and tidy wins the race as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you know, if it's, you know, if you got siding on your house, power wash it. If the windows are dirty, wash them. Yeah. It's just... If, if, if you've got a bunch of stuff laying around, uh, even if you use it every day, pick it up and put it away. Wow. Right, and like you're talking about power washer, if you don't have one, you can easily rent those from Home Depot or Lowe's for the day. Absolutely, yes, you know, yes, yes. It and makes a big difference. Clean, clean, clean. Yep, and like I say too, when I'm going to show a house and as a realtor, I'm opening up that lockbox, People are standing there waiting for me to get that open. They're looking around on your porch. They're looking at everything. So if there's cobwebs, like you're saying, or things laying around garbage, your old mail. Open paint, toys. I mean, they it see could, that stuff. It could all be innocent. Right. right. They're making a judgment on that. Right okay. away. Are you taking care of your property, right? Yes. Yes. So I always say, too, one big thing is your front door. That's what yes. they're looking at, too. You, among other, other things but what you're saying is a, a fresh coat of paint on that door or maybe you want to invest a little bit yeah yeah you yeah. might want to maybe make the big investment on a new door but if not just paint it clean it like you're saying new door now nah, maybe just make it look a little nicer but yeah. even just yeah. cleaning the door right yes is a good first impression a, a yeah. nice vibrant color just stands out Stands yes. out. If you, if you have the, um, you know, whatever you've got, you know, I'm not saying go buy something you don't need. Yeah. But if if you've got a door knocker on it, scrub it up, replace it, put matching beautiful whatever color scheme you've got. Put the new doorknob and the kick plate and the, and I mean, I don't know. I suppose you could spend a couple hundred bucks on that, but it's easy to do and it just makes a great impression. Right. And and we're talking about cleaning the door. I even think just clean those windows in the front too because they're sitting there looking at that stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. The w your windows got to be clean in yeah. and out. Yeah. Because you know when they're inside, they're going to be looking out the window. Outside. <laughs> so if you're outside, um, you look at it. Yes. Yeah. It's and just, another thing. Yeah. Another thing too, I'm talking about the um, peeling paint is a big issue with me too. So when you see that, especially if I'm looking with that, if I have an FHA buyer, I'm looking for that peeling paint outside. So you wanna go through the outside of the house, look for that peeling paint, and you might just have to touch it up, scrape it, and do a quick coat of paint on that. It's not very expensive. Yeah, and one more thing. When you talk about peeling paint, it made me think of dried up caulk. Oh, okay. yes. So caulk around your windows with, you know, if, if the caulk is old or cracking or seeping water, just, got, you know, get it out and, and put the new caulk in. Yeah, you know, and it'll just, just help. It'll, it, it makes a huge difference. These little tiny things make a huge difference to 
the perception that you give to buyers when, and sometimes a buyer won't even notice it. They'll just be like, I, I, I didn't like it. Well, why? I don't know. And it's, it's just that overall feeling that it doesn't meet their expectations. Right. So let's, you know, use a critical eye on the outside of your house. Yeah, and I always say pretend you're the buyer or bring one of your friends or family over and say, pretend you're buying this house. What do you see first impression that Absolutely. I might need to spruce up? Good idea. You know, and while they're still on the porch, I think too we've talked about staging that area there. Clean yeah. off the porch, spray it off, get rid of that junk, and maybe stage what's there if you have that porch option. If you have so the to... porch, yes, and, but keep it simple. Yes. You know, little pot of flowers or um, a chair in, in a chair or two or or you know whatever but just yeah. keep it real simple real right. simple strikingly clean and in your good to go right and even like those mailers and stuff just get all that junk off the porch yeah. um so do you want to get away from the porch maybe and a couple of things on the outside of the house like I always say the driveway is a big oh. thing for me, especially if I have an FHA buyer, I'm looking at those cracks in the driveway because that's a big yep. issue. Yep, yep, your driveway <clears throat> is simple to take care of. I mean, you can have cracks, that's okay. But if you do have cracks, put that uh, sealer in there. I mean, you can go again, Home Depot, I don't know what it costs, maybe $20, $25, buy that, driveway sealer, seal up those cracks so that the moisture can't get in there. Right. That's what makes your driveway heave or be uh, un uneven. And it, it, you know, and if you can afford it, of course, you know, replace it. But mm -hmm. uh, I'm try we're trying to keep this uh, low cost weekend projects the homeowners can do. Um, and so, even, yeah. Yeah. Even too with the driveway you're talking about too. And I've had people just smooth. If there is a little lift, you can get some cement inexpensively and just smooth that area over too. So there's no yeah. issues at all for inspection. I mean, you want to make it safe, but if you can easily smooth it or maybe lift a little bit of the cement, you know, that's just a little thing too. I think yeah. preventative measures for people viewing it, don't give them a reason to not like your house, right? We're little right, things right, like that. Right. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Okay, so, um, and then paint. You know, you can paint your trim. It depends on the style of your house, of course, but, <clears throat> you know, paint your trim or your siding. And um, it's just an easy fix that you can do yourself. And I think, too, let's just touch upon the landscaping. So oh, yes. maybe weed a little bit if you have to trim your bushes because. I think a lot of people don't like those big bushes in front of their house. I don't know why, but if you can just trim them, make everything look nice, even if you have to trim some of the trees, because those are issues that I see people don't like the trees close to the house. If you can trim it and just make it look manicured, yes. um, I think that's a good impression. Yeah. Just don't, like I said, don't give them a reason they have something they don't like about the house. Right. And you can use places like Pinterest or, uh, you know, HGTV, where they give you examples of, you know, what a house looks like with and without, you know, certain things like bushes, flowers. And it, when you look at those, it's amazing the difference, you know. So, yeah, bright, colorful flowers, um, little bushes or trees, decorative around your mm -hmm. house mm -hmm. can improve. Uh, not only the way it looks in, in, in the curb appeal, but actually they say that you uh, will get more money for your house. Yeah, and you know, Which just looking little looking thing. for a, <laughs> looking for ideas too. I'm laughing because there's always that one house on your street that everybody likes that that person takes care of their house. Go look at their house and see what things you like about that. You know, how Absolutely. it's manicured. Maybe yeah. just edging the grass or watering your grass or planting grass seed in those dead spots. <laughs> I mean, just look at that one house in the street that everybody has and you can get some ideas from there too. So, yeah. true, true. So, I think we kind of touched upon a couple easy things that you could do. It just takes a little bit of labor, like you're saying, in a weekend, get together 
width of your house. I think yeah. pretty yeah. easy, but that is a big main thing. First impression, you know, cause yes. they've already looked at probably your inside pictures before they're going to look at it. So they're going to drive by it. So I think wow them when they're coming outside. Absolutely. Yep. Make them want to come in. Yeah. So, all right, we'll get out there and get to work, right? That's right. On your house. So, all right, I guess we'll let you go and uh, watch for our next video. Got anything else to add? Call us if you have any questions. Okay. Talk to you guys later. Bye. All right. Bye.